We are completely How about here wrapped around right? her finger. Sure. Whatever she wants to do. After you. We have no control. of entertainment since Ooh, Nero himself. Do not doubt. <laughs> As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just As starting a or not. Are you of in the a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire. Snakes and magic. Yeah, let's go. I Let's encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Kaninsky! Ooh, make a move is an option. Not yet, apparently. Do it. The yawn, the stretch. And... Laren. No, no, I was just scratching. All right. They come from Road Shop, Barry and Valentine, singing a song and drinking wine across by your swamp and well, over the That's pretty sea. good. Well, I told you this would be fun. Nice local tie-in. The trains are heading to the land of voodoo. You won't sleep a wink, I can guarantee. Let's go drink and down in Sam Dunny. Pretty good. Looks like she's having a super time. Well done. Great job. I loved all that. You had to say, except for maybe the one thing around the phony part. Oh, she's melting my heart. What do you think, Mary? Oh, oh, flawless. Perfect. Oh, I see you. You, you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes. Oh yes, She's the most dulcet. spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer you whale. You no talent. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire, <laughs> or to spend time in the company of strange no women. No way. You are about to do both. Oh, I thought he was calling us out. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanservino. 
Stop it. Oh, this is cool. Oh, look. I'm looking. Fire breather. From the curtain. <laughs> I hope she doesn't. Set your backs on fire. Pretty impressive. Come on, hot mama, shake it. Jesus. I'm saying to that guy. <laughs> Everyone's just like raucous, just yells whatever they want. Keep checking to see if we can make a move. Very important. We want more. Oh, don't burn yourself. Yeah, do it. I think people are kind of like, all right, let's go now. I'm going to start antagonizing her. This is <laughs> Jesus. She has been kind of samey. I mean, yeah, bravo. Excellent. Excellent. These people are loving it. Oh, enchanting, mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring <laughs> home to mother. It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies more. dance. I have been there. Oh. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris. Woo this is great. There we go. Cover your eyes, Mary.
it's pretty impressive, like, from a game development perspective that you put all this time into, you program all of this and you design all of this and people could just like not watch it ever. There's so much stuff in this game where it's like, the, the amount of work that goes into it that people don't see is insane. Well done, everyone. Well done. I think three shows is pretty good. What do you think, Mary? And three shows? <laughs> you hear that guy? Look at those panties. What the frick? That's pretty good. That's good. Standing O. Let's see if the guy comes out to close the show. If not, I think that'll be the last one. Let me watch. Whoa, incredible. Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Awe-inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank nice. you. Nice. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these Come before on. it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back. Tomorrow. This is the best. That's pretty incredible. That's pretty incredible. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Not embarrassing at all, either. All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> My to life your Uber? wasn't supposed to. Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I don't know. Does it have to be? I want it, man, Mary. If I. If anyone. Close to me. Well, they're wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in there. Ah. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Tempting. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're going to run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. A little passive but aggressive. I will, once I get some money. And I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Please. Yeah. That was nice. It'd be cool if it works out for these guys. For Christ's sake. <laughs> for Christ's sake. My horse is gone. I'm gonna pay off my bounties while I'm here. I see you there. Give me a minute, please. 
All right. Glad to see you on the up and up. Uh, hello. What do you need? Uh, nothing now, thanks. Farewell. Every time. That horse don't listen. He's not that far. Uh, I think... Is that everything in St. Denis? No, there's the, uh, professor here. That's right. We have to wrap things up with him. Where's my horse, exactly? God damn, he's pretty far. Hey. Looks like we're taking this part on foot. Now, we, do we have stables? Oh, yeah, we do. You know what? Let me hit the stable right now. I know we're close, but I'm hitting that stable. Damn, heat rash is killing me. Let me get Roach in here. We'll handle business. That's right. Obviously, we have a stable here. We've been in there when we bought the horse, when we found her dad. It's right around the corner. Been too many what coming through? Uh, we could probably just like. Oh no 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 no! My bad. That, that was a bad shot. Oh, frick, and I can't get in here. Move in now. Are you kidding me? This is self defense. It was an accident. Oh, we got kicked out. They're not going to know who I am. That's fine. Right? <laughs> I see the witness, too. Tempting. Kill. Listen up. You don't see nothing. <laughs> Okay, so what's weird is, it's because that happened inside, but we're locked out of the stable, uh, that makes things a little complex, doesn't it? So I guess we'll just run down to the professor now until that unlocks, until these guys finish their investigating. Classic us, you know, classic. Police department. Something the matter. Well, 
so welcome to our humble police house. Uh huh. Hi. Can I come in there, or is that going to be a problem? What can I do for you, <clears throat> Chief? I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair. We need to kill he, somebody. Uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit, but it's going to cost you a hundred dollars in fees. Hundred bucks? Can we negotiate? Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run, and uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen, but I'll give you a permit for fifty. Fine. Here you go. This okay. dude better pay me back. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen and unusual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Thanks. Holy frick. We got a storm. Look at the lightning! What? That's wild, man. That is wild. I'm going to get my horse from the stables. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. Uh, retrieve. No problem. Thank you. We'll get it. Is there anything I can do to like? Here, you won't regret it. Go gold on his course. I don't know. Like, I'm not sure if there's anything else I can do to improve his stats right now. Thank you. Remember to rest that horse sometimes. I will. I know I push him pretty hard. All right, let's hit the professor at the other end of Saint Denis. We'll grab the bounty from the police station along the way. Bonding a little bit, you know? Give him a little something something here. Some hay. Enjoy that, buddy. Look here. I'll Ooh, a hundred bucks. Now we're talking. There's a bounty poster on the wall there. I'm on it. Not one you can demonstrate your machine on. <laughs> Capture dead or alive as the leader of the Lemoyne Raiders. Whoa, he's wanted for raising a militia against the state. The gang was spotted in the Mossy Flats. All claims to be fil filed at and will be paid out in full by the B. Lambert. Or by B. Lambert, St. Denis Police Department. Alright, so we're probably going to have to fight his have gang. Crazy oh, you know I'm it. Happy. Well, I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lamone Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. You got that right. Private militias, you know. I do know. Okay, we still have this marked. So where is he at? He's way up north. Sounds good. Whoa. Holy frick. No, no, no. 
Oh no. Oh, mister. That's terrible. I'm sorry that that happened to you, dude. Yikes. He shot her so fast. You never know how those encounters are going to go down, too, so it's like... It's risky to just start firing. You usually want to react, but... If they just shoot on sight, well, hard for us to help. You guys need to just relax. Just cruising about on my horse. Ah, hello, friend. Hello, you probably Professor, heard of my reputation. Professor Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Find a suitable, find a suitable subject. Uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. And this fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels, wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's Ooh. that? The mind shudders. <laughs> yeah. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. Huh. Capture McDaniels alive. Okay. That we can do. Where is he exactly? Now that's the bounty. So the bounty. Okay, so this guy's even further. And if we. This person we don't have to take back. We could just kill the leader of the uh, raiders. I probably still have to take his body all the way back though, but then I wouldn't be able to bring this guy. So I think what we'll do is ride out to him first, and we'll take care of the Lemoyne leader after, because that seems like a pretty big job. I'm interested to see how uh, <laughs> how this chair thing works out, because part of me is wondering, well, is he going to screw this up, and it's going to backfire, and the guy's just going to survive, or is it going to be a botched execution? Could be a lot of things that go wrong, right? Come on. Out of the damn way. Uh. We have a bit of a hike ahead, though. We'll see if anything happens along the way. Riding that carriage on these little bridges. That's what this reminds me of. It's gonna be nightmares. Somebody's out here camping or something. What is this? Oh, it's these weird things. It's all right, buddy. These are those things that we saw when the guy was hanging that one time. Oh, we got a necklace, wedding ring. Who's that for again? Is that for, uh, oh yeah, Tilly. Okay. Yep. So we have the book for Jack. We still don't have a pipe for Dutch. Now, come on. Uh, we have the necklace for Tilly. Go. 
We do have a whole bunch of valuables that we could be selling to a fence. Probably be rich. Beyond our wildest imagination. I'm trying to think of, like, what else would we spend our money on right now? We have a bunch of clothes that we really like that we recently purchased. Uh, maybe horses when they unlock. Weapon-wise, we pretty much buy anything that we want. And I can't think of anything else that we would need at this exact moment. I'm spending a lot of time... Oh, oh. Oh! I called it. Oh, frick. Spending a lot of time out in the dark, which could lead to certain unfavorable uh, events like horse crashes. is the camp. Let's set this up till daytime. Not sure if there's anything we need to craft. That's fire. Oh, what the hell? Mind if I warm my bones? Uh, okay. Oh, shit. Y'all knew this was Murphy Hills. What? You be careful where you're camping. Are you serious? I can look after myself. Besides, it's a free country. Free country? <laughs> no. Everything bought and paid for. <laughs> what we the don't protect hell? what's ours. Y'all be careful where you wander. Okay. Come on. Let's go. I think you got the message. What the frick are these Go guys? Kill you next time. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Okay. That's bizarre. That is so bizarre. All right. Let's make some of this. Should have just killed him. The Murphy Brood. It's another gang? They're believed to have immigrated to America in the 1700s where they lived comfortably. The industrialization, industrialization of the area drove the family to live in a secluded life in the hills. Now the family resides in a cave in Beaver Hollow, only venturing out to the surrounding areas for hunting and scavenging. <laughs> That's cool. So hold on, how many gangs? Lemoyne, O'Driscoll, Murphy... Del Lobo, and then two undiscovered gangs still. That's nutty. Uh, let's eat this one. And we'll stow a couple as well. I have had trouble finding these items to eat after the fact. Because I don't think they show up in the wheel. They just show up like in provisions or something. So I'm gonna store a couple of them and then we should be all right. And we can only carry three, right? So. All right. Is there anything else we need? can make snake oil. We have a bunch of that already. I don't think we need any ammo. Predator bait, we don't really need. Maybe coffee. Just get the dead eye up. And then we'll hit the hay. We probably don't even really need this because it's just the outer meter that we need to fill, so. Alright. Actually, we don't even, probably don't even need to sleep there because it's basically morning, so. Would have been fine. 
Nice little run in with the new gang. Could be risky, I guess, sleeping. I don't know if that's a thing. That they could maybe like attack us while we're sleeping or something. All right, buddy. You ready? Oh, level two horse. There we go. We got rearing. One of my favorites. He's like, it's too early in the morning to be running this fast. You're doing fine, buddy. You're doing fine. So bring this guy back for the electric chair. I I have a feeling it's going to backfire, but... I guess we'll see. I'm not sure who invented, in, like, real world, who invented the electric chair. But I imagine this is, like, the way that it would have went, right? You'd be like, well... This is the way we should probably be doing it. Somebody believes in it enough to make it happen. And then, they have to find the willing participant. Not willing. They find the suitable participant. Participant's not even the right word. Candidate. And... Next thing you know, it's like... Yeah, that is better. Than hanging them. Because that's miserable, right? Not just for... Uh-oh. Ooh, nice! Not just for... The person, obviously, but also for people watching. Slow up now. Wait, where is this? Yeah. Yeah. He's up top. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This guy, maybe his lookout. <laughs> we'll see. Thank you. 